Hey, my mom. You here on the bus with everybody? She's like, yep, I'm doing nothing. Hey guys, so we are, I don't know how many days into this build now, but we've, as a recap, we've gotten the floor uh, pretty much ripped out, missing just one piece of rubber off the wheel well here. But other than that, all the rubber's gone. Uh, now we've started taking these panels off, the side panels, not the roof, because the roof is gonna require uh, rivets, and that's gonna be a whole different ball game. So we haven't gotten to that yet, but side panels have screws, so my wonderful father-in-law, Bill, has started on this side, and this is what we're working with so far. So, I don't know, have you seen anything in particular? But this was a pain in the neck to rip off, though. But I mean, these are all riveted, so we're gonna get a rivet, something to remove rivets, but this is all screwed on. So, uh, they were, I think, three or four pieces of panel all throughout here. One's a couple of short ones and a long one. And uh, that was a little pain in the neck to rip out. Uh, because everything is, uh, uh, everything is, I don't know, it's, it's, it's just clamps into each other. So it's real hard to go out. But once you, once you figure it out, it ain't that, it ain't that hard. Um, but now it's just a matter of removing, I'm gonna wire all these, or number all these wires, and uh, you know, take out this insulation. There's some areas here, like here, do not have insulation. You can see how it's just dropping, so it's just not good. It's not, it's not gonna be good enough for, for, for the bus, so. Other than that, it's um, it's coming along just slowly. It's a process. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going through taking out these side panels. Um, this other side is now almost completely done. Screws are already out of this side. And for this part, it was actually pretty easy. Just typical Phillips head screwdriver. Um, we were lucky because none of these were really rusted. But it's still like, kind of a pain to get the panels out because of you know the, the way they're fitted in and all. Um, Thank so because the way they're fitted in, they just kind of get a little difficult to take out. They're just got to put a little bit of oomph into them. But again, Phillips head, so we don't have to worry too much about, you know, fighting with rivets. Unlike up here, this is going to be a whole separate ball game because there's rivets on every rib all the way through. So that's going to be a different process. We'll get to that soon. But for now, this part's going well. Then we're going to do the bottom and don't be like me and wear flip-flops when you're working in a bus. So, <laughs> do as I say, not as I do. But uh, yeah, that's where we're at. We're just getting in back behind these windows, popping this piece out, working our way down, because you really can't go down any further because it presses up against the actual window. So we're gonna get in, popping these up, and then gotta kind of finagle them out a little bit. Make sure you mask up when you're dealing with the insulation because you never know what's going to be back there. Especially because it's pretty gross looking. You good? We're good, mommy. So, in addition to everything going on in the back, we are getting ready to rip off this one panel, which unfortunately is one very long panel that goes basically from the middle of the bus all the way to the front. The biggest problem is gonna be, we've got the seat belt here and this kind of border with a piece of plastic and then just some old stuff. This will be easy to rip out, but we got the, the fan, which is a necessity. It has to stay, it has to. Um, so this one's gonna be a little bit more difficult, but 
Uh, the biggest thing is once it's all said and done, then we've got to figure out how we're going to frame everything back up to kind of make this look nice and not look junky. So that's our next little bit that we're doing. All right. Ready. First panel. Well, first panel's down. So, we fought the battle and got one set of rivets out by hand with crowbar and hammer. And it, it actually wasn't as bad as we thought it was going to be. But, I mean, it's still a process. So, there's definitely tools out there to make it easier. But, we did get a panel out. Got the insulation out. Got this uh, panel off. The insulation out of here we took a, a leaf blower and blew all this insulation and dirt out of the back just to kind of clean it up a little bit so we can continue to work um, we did find out unfortunately that this back panel something had fallen on the bus at one point we didn't realize that uh, because when we we're looking at the bus we didn't get up top and look at it it was kind of hard to do at the time in somebody's driveway who didn't have a ladder so it is what it is the good thing is there's no leaks back here. Um, the, the dent's not bad, so we're gonna take a, a rubber mallet to it and try to fix it. Worst comes to worst, we'll pop it out and then we'll re-weld it back and we'll have to do what we have to do. But um, it's given us access to all the wires, which is good. So our next step now, besides working on the dash, which is kind of an ongoing project, is to get these last panels off and then we're gonna get a pneumatic hammer and start popping out the rest of these rivets for the, the roof, uh, or the ceiling rather, not the roof. And going all the way to the front, pulling out the rest of the insulation. Chisel. And then, yeah, the, the pneumatic chisel. And then pulling out the uh, side panels as well. And then we'll have everything stripped down to the bones and then we can start kind of looking at where we go from there, so.